with it. What you can see here is over 200 Chinese fishing ships in the ocean. But these ships do not belong here because this part of the ocean isn't owned by China. It's owned by a different country. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are there 200 Chinese boats fishing in another country's sea? Who told them to go here? And just how much fish are they stealing from other countries? Last week, I came across this photo on the internet. Chinese ships in the middle of the Philippine Sea. And I asked myself, why are there so many ships in the Philippine Sea? So I decided to do some research and what I discovered will make you mad. But before I show you what they are doing here, I have to explain why they don't belong here. According to international law, every country owns the sea 200 miles from their land. So technically, these islands off the Philippine coast belongs to the Philippines. But China didn't care. Instead, they did something unimaginable. Satellite footage shows Chinese boats taking sand, putting it in the ocean, and building their own islands. Then, they put a military base on top of it, with an airport, hospitals, and even rockets. Then, they said all the sea around it belongs to China. And these Chinese boats continued to take millions of fish from Philippine waters. So the next question I asked myself is, how does this affect the average Filipino? Well, to answer this question, I did something crazy. I got on a plane with my friends and traveled to General Santos, the tuna capital of the Philippines. Go, 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 go. It's General Santos, woo! I saw a lot of ships, a lot of fish, and many hard-working Filipinos. Welcome to Mindanao, Charot. So what does the ice taste like? Uh, it's good. Nice. We make it soup. Yeah? And Visaya, Sabaw, Tilula. And every single fisherman that I met was working all day long to find the best fish to feed his family. But with Chinese boats stealing most of the fish in the region, every day they are catching less and less fish. And this made me think, how on earth can a simple fisherman like this compete with 200 giant Chinese fishing boats? The sad reality is that men like this will lose. He will lose his fish, he will lose his income, and he will lose his ability to feed his family. Honestly, after traveling here, I felt sad. And this is exactly why I made this video. In a world where superpowers like China bully other countries because they are more powerful, let this video be your weapon to send a message that your country will no longer be bullied by China. Hey, wow, that was a dark video. This topic has been in the news for quite a while now, and I figured that it was finally time for me to speak up and use my online voice to share this important message with the world. So as always, I've hidden a secret egg somewhere in the video. It looks like this. Find it, take a screenshot, and send it to my Instagram, and I'll reply with a secret motivational message. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.